your value is not based on really what you can see but your value is based on what you don't really see some of us we question our value we question my god am i really valuable i'm telling you if you have been bought by his blood if you have been, if jesus christ has really shed his blood for you i'm telling you do not question your value what is your value your value is the life of a precious blood hallelujah most of us we always value the physical stuff we forget the intrinsic value the invisible stuff you got to understand that it is the invisible which makes the visible come to a reality let us just see it in this angle how do we become successful by having an intrinsic value that is how you become successful how do you have success in your life by having a value which cannot be seen physically so today i'm going to talk on the topic how to be a success how to be a success basically the angle that we are going to see today about being successful is about applying the knowledge so that is the angle that we are going to see uh, but the main goal is how to be success how to be a successful person or how to be a successful woman or a man so before you talk about success i want you to understand that your value system is very important for life what you value is really important what is that you value how much do you value it because value is determined by sacrifice so value is definitely related to sacrifice the more you sacrifice towards it the more valuable it becomes now you might ask pastor why is a mercedes benz more valuable than a tata punch it is not only because of the price because definitely because of the price because of the value that you or the sacrifice that you have towards it for example a mercedes benz might cost around 50 lakhs but a tata punch you can get it maybe around 7 lakhs so there is more sacrifice towards a mercedes benz that is the reason why wherever there is more sacrifice it is more valuable wherever there is more sacrifice there is more value towards it that is the reason why you value your wife more than anybody else because you have sacrificed a lot towards that relationship you value your husband more than anybody else because you have left your father your mother your entire history you have left your all your relationships just in order for you to be with your husband that's the reason why you value your husband more than anybody else in the same way if there is no sacrifice then there is no value so if there is no sacrifice then there is no value you know some people sometimes they come to our church from tiruvur they come to our church from karnool they come and attend our church from karimnagar or some far away places do you know why because they believe that there is a lot of value over here that is the reason why they they, they wake up early in the morning at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock they they catch a bus they catch a train and they come over here just to attend our church service and they go back now you might ask pastor i have also come yes you also came you know when they come they usually come for telugu service by 11 o'clock but they don't come for by 11 o'clock they come by 10 o'clock or 10:30 and they just wait over here you know why they do that because there is a lot of sacrifice in order for them to come and attend the church service over here but for you probably some of you it is really easy because you live really close and yet you come a little late of course so that means there is not that much sacrifice over there so whatever you sacrifice you value that more when there is more sacrifice there is more value there is another uh, angle to it some people think they bring more value to it but you need to understand it is more it is just an inflated value just like the example that i gave you know for example if a person comes from karimnagar just for the church service and he goes back there is a lot of value towards it and you might also be thinking pastor i also came i also attended the church service but you you might have come a little late and because you have come a little late the value that you're getting 
is a little inflated, overinflated. Now, if you can understand inflation, that's how it works. So, my dear brothers and sisters, value is based on not what is visible, but value is based on what is invisible. Now, the, I can give another example. Some might come a little late, let's say by 9.30. The reason why they might have come by 9.30 is probably they, have, they haven't slept all night. They might have worked till 9 o'clock. And they have somehow worked it out, somehow made it to church because they cannot miss it. Now, there is more value towards it. So, sometimes the value is overinflated when there is no sacrifice. You might be talking about value. You might be bringing, you might have thought, oh, pastor, I bring a lot of value. But really, probably that value is overinflated. Some of you might not even see it. The, all the hard work that they, they went through just to be here. And that is more valuable. So, uh, your value is not based on really what you can see, but your value is based on what you don't really see. So for example, some of you, you, you really perform really excellent in your work. And you might be thinking, Pastor, that guy is being paid a lot more than me. Why is that so? It is not because of the, it is not because of the result. Both of you give the same result in that stipulated time, but he gives a little extra result. That is the reason why he becomes a little more valuable to the company or the organization. Now, the reason why he produced a better result than you might be because of the sacrifice he has done after going back home. Now, some of us, maybe after going back home, we might have just take a shower, we, we might just take a shower, switch on the TV, enjoy, relaxed, next day again back at work. But probably this guy, after going back home, he has done his homework. What should he do for the next day? How should he perform in his job the next day? What are the challenges he might face? So there was a little learning, little sacrifice back home. And that little sacrifice, it is going to give him a lot more better results at work. If you look at the Bible in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18, this is what it says. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Now you got to understand this. You really cannot see unblemished blood. Can you see that with your eye? No, you cannot. If you understand that is a blood with character. So you can see gold, but you, you cannot see character in blood. Are you understanding that? So you are always bought with something which is invisible. You are always bought with something. So whatever is invisible is much more premium. Hallelujah. You got to understand that character cannot be seen. It can only be felt. These things which is more premium or more valuable, you really cannot see all these things, but you can only feel them in your life. You know, my, my wife definitely knows what kind of a character I have based on the life that I live. Because women usually are more, they, are, they, can, more, they can sense it more than the men. You know, So somehow she knows the kind of person I am. In the same way, Jesus Christ or God bought you with the blood which you cannot really judge, which you cannot really, uh, which, you, which cannot be spotted, which, because it is pure blood. So a price was paid for us. A price was paid for you. A price was paid for you with which cannot be seen. So how can you be saved and question your value? How can you be saved and question your value. Some of us, we question our value. We question, oh my God, am I really valuable? God, am I really, do you really care for me? I'm telling you, if you, if you have been bought by his blood, if, you have been, if Jesus Christ has really shed his blood for you, I'm telling you, do not question your value. 
What is your value? Your value is the life of a precious blood. Hallelujah. That's how valuable your life is. Your value is the value is the sacrifice of a precious lamb of God. Your value is the sacrifice of the unblemished character blood. That is how valuable you are, my dear brother and sister. That is how valuable you, you are. So you are really valuable in the sight of God. Hallelujah. Never question your value. Never question your value. Never question your value. You're not important because you're somebody. You got to understand that. You're not important because you're somebody you, because you are rich. You're not important because, because you're born in a certain family. You're not important because you have a really good job. No, you are important because there has been a life that is sacrificed for you. You are important because God has shut down his blood for you. You are important because you are born into this world with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Shall we all put our hands together and thank our God because of the blood that he has shed for us. Your worth can be known when someone is willing to what? Your worth can be known based on what someone is willing to pay for you. Your worth can be known based on what someone is willing to pay for you. You are redeemed only because you are only worth as much as someone would pay for you. My dear brothers and sisters, why would Jesus pay so much for you? And do you really think he would make your life a hell? Some of us, we think, oh, my life is a hell because I am a Christian. No, because you're a Christian, you better understand that your life is much more valuable. Some of us, we like to suffer because we are a Christian. No, you better understand that you're suffering because of your own mistakes, not because, of, because you're following Christ. Some of us, we always have this misconception because, because you're a Christ follower, hell is breaking loose on you. No, you're not. You better understand this philosophy because you're a Christ follower, you're facing a lot of troubles in your family. You're facing a lot of problems in your personal life. No, you're not. The reason why you are facing problems is because there, are, there have been some uncalculated or unwise decisions that you have taken. In business, we have this term called intrinsic value. You know, intrinsic is, intrinsic is something which cannot be, which cannot be uh, physically seen. Intrinsic value is the value which cannot be touched. It is not a value. For example, how do I say mm, for everybody to understand? Let's take the value of KFC. Now, when, when, I, when I say KFC, you know, basically KFC is just a fried chicken. That's it. All it is is fried chicken. That's what they're selling you. But when you, when you think of fried chicken, you do not think of KFC. And when you think of KFC, you do not think of fried chicken. Are you understanding? But what do KFC really sell? They sell you fried chicken. That's it. They, now, in order for you to understand intrinsic value, KFC is much valuable than fried chicken. Got it now? The, the, the brand value is much more higher than the fried chicken. So basically, they're not selling fried chicken for you. They're some, selling something which is more valuable in your eyes. So you feel more valuable towards KFC. That's the reason why when you go to a mall, you probably end up buying KFC or McDonald's or something like that. Everything, they sell simple food. McDonald's is simply a burger, a patty of chicken or a vegetarian, and they layer it over a cheese and they give it to you. What you need to understand is, you are not paying for a fried chicken or a, or a burger. You're paying for the brand value. Are you understanding, church? That is, that brand value is the intrinsic value which you cannot see physically. Now, let us just see it in this angle. How do we become successful? By having an intrinsic value. That is how you become successful. How do you have success in your life? By having a value which cannot be seen physically. Now you might, you might think, oh pastor, if I wear a branded shirt, I will automatically be respected. You might be respected until you open your mouth. <laughs> Are you understanding? Now you might think, oh pastor, if I just get out of a Mercedes Benz, I will be respected. Yes, definitely you'll be respected. 
until you open your mouth. If this is zero, and even though you get down from a Mercedes Benz or a Range Rover, you still are not having any kind of value. Now what really holds value for you is that car rather than you. Now, you know, my wife and I, we went to a wedding. I think it's an engagement. As soon as we entered that hotel, there was this nice Rolls Royce Cullinan, you know, that SUV, that huge, big SUV parked in that hotel. Around it was the red rope, you know, that security rope. And there were two guards, one on the left, one on the right, guarding that SUV. I was looking at it. I was thinking, wow, man, what a car. Because that was the first time. I mean, I've seen it only on the roads or only on the TV. And this was the first time I was watching it three, three to four feet away. And it was looking majestic. I was thinking, wow, whose car should it be? So we entered into that engagement place. We walked and we sat. When we sat over there, then I saw Mr. GMR inside that hall. When I saw GMR in the hall, the, I knew this was that guy's car, but the value of the car decreased and the value of this person increased drastically. It is because this man is much more valuable than the Kalinan, than the Rolls Royce. So what you got to understand is, it is basically that intrinsic value that is what makes you valuable. It is not what you possess physically, but it is what you possess inside. Hallelujah. So intrinsic is much more valuable than physical. So what you cannot see is much more valuable than what you can actually see. Hallelujah. I just gave you a key for your success. I just gave you the most important key in order for you to be successful in your life. It is not the kind of expressions that I give. It is not how handsome that I look, but it is what I say out of my mouth that is valuable over here. It is not the kind of dress that I wear which attracts you, but it is the kind of words that I release out of my mouth which attract you. My dear brothers and sisters, so what you feel worthy to pay is decided by the value that it is to you. What, what do you feel valuable today? Most of us, we always value the physical stuff. We forget the intrinsic value, the invisible stuff. You got to understand that it is the invisible which makes the visible come to a reality. I'm going to repeat that again. It is the invisible which makes the visible come into reality. For example, if Mr. GMR, he doesn't have that kind of knowledge or that kind of wisdom, the Rolls Royce Cullinan, which is visible, was, can, can never be turned into a reality. It is because of the invisible knowledge and the invisible wisdom that he possesses, he knows how to do a business. He knows how to give you valuable things and take your money for that value. That is the reason why he turned the invisible into visible. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, so you won't feel that you're paying so, so high for KFC. Why? Because of the brand value that it possesses. You won't feel that you're paying so much food when you buy food from a restaurant because of the brand value that they possess. So value is determined by the buyer. Value is determined by the buyer. Now remember, who bought you was Jesus Christ. He determined your value. Can you understand that? He determined how valuable you are. He determined how important you are. He determined how important you are that he gave down his life for you. That is how valuable you are. So do not devalue yourself. Can you turn to your neighbor and say, never devalue yourself? So the reason why we worship him is because he paid more than what we deserve. Amen. I see a smile, little smiles over here and there because probably you might have thought, I'm not valuable. I'm telling you, you are. You are. 
you are hallelujah now if we look at the verse john 3:16 there you are going to find your value hidden in that statement for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son what is your value god gave up for himself hallelujah god gave himself up that is your value my that is your value so now now remember and whoever believes in him shall not perish that means god doesn't want you to perish but god wants you to have an eternal life that is the reason why he sent down his son for you now remember you need to understand that the sacrifice that is done on the cross it became invaluable to him when the nails were being driven into his hands because he gave up his life for you his life which was being sacrificed on the cross became invaluable to him because of the value that he could get through you that is the reason why we all got to live a life which is worthy of that sacrifice we all got to start living a life which makes that sacrifice valuable hallelujah make that sacrifice valuable make the life of christ valuable example a salary given by an employer to an employee the salary which is given by an employer to an employee remember once the the reason why an employer gives salary to an employee is because the employee spends time working for the employer so that is the value decided by the employer for the time of his life the time of his life that is given by the employee is determined by the value that the employer decides so once the employer gives the salary the employer it doesn't he doesn't really care what you do with your salary have you ever noticed that he doesn't really want an accounting of what you do with your salary why because it is your life now you have worked for the time and because that is your value that you have gained and whatever you do with that value is none of his business so better spend your money wisely hallelujah why because it is your life that you are spending it is your value that you are spending some of us don't really value money that is the reason why you never really have money in your life how much ever you get it by the end of the day you always borrow money from your parents again why because you are not valuing your life once you value your life you value your money so now i want you to i want to throw some wisdom into your life are you ready are you ready are you ready all right so let's all open our bibles to first kings chapter 3 This is a story which I want you all to know and if you have your bible please carry a pen or a pencil or something and understand this carefully all right I want you to read this with me now this is how it goes chapter 3 verse 16 it says now two prostitutes came to the king and stood before him one of them said my lord this woman and I live in the same house I had a baby while she was there with me the third day after my child was born this woman also had a baby we were alone there was no one in the house but the two of us during the night this woman's son died because she lay on him so she got up in the middle of the night took my son from my side while i your servant was asleep she put him by her breast and put her dead son by my breast the next morning i got up to nurse my son and he was dead but when i looked at him closely in the morning light i saw that it wasn't the son i had born the other woman said no the living one is my son the dead one is yours but the first one insisted no the dead one is yours the living one is mine so they argued before the king the king said this one says my son is alive your son is dead while the while that one says no your son is dead and mine is alive 
Then the king said, bring me a sword. So they brought a sword for the king. He then gave an order, cut the living child into two and give half to one and half to the other. The woman whose son was alive was filled with compassion for her son and said to the king, please, my lord, give her the living baby. Don't kill him. But the other said, neither I nor you shall have him. Cut him into two. Then the king gave his ruling, give the living baby to the first woman. Do not kill him. She is his mother. When all Israel heard the verdict the king had given, they held the king in awe because they saw that he had the wisdom from God to administer justice. Now, what do you understand by this? Pastor, what is there in the story? There's a great ruling given by the king. This is a story which is splendid in our eyes. But you got to understand the intrinsic value. How did the king decide that there is only one true woman who is the real mother of the child? How did the king decide that there is only one true mother and the other one is lying? Well, this is the story that you got to understand. The mother who bore the child she sacrificed a lot. That is the reason why she has seen a great value in the son. These two women, the king was thinking, oh my God, now I can't be the judge between these two women. Because you know, when two women judge, oh God, when two women argue, you cannot enter that space. You cannot settle the matter. And they were right before this king the wisest man on earth. And the wisest man said, you know what? I'm done with this argument. Just bring me a sword. <laughs> Just bring me a sword, man. And they said, they brought the sword and they said, cut him into two. Many of us were thinking the king was fed up. The king was not. He was planning for something. That is the intrinsic value of wisdom. Wisdom always plans. Wisdom always sets the scenario. Hallelujah. You do not fall a prey, but you create the scene. Are you understanding church? The wise people, they set it. That is the reason why in the Bible at one, say, what, what, in one verse it says, the lion sets its snare. You need to understand that the, the layer that it sets is really, really important. The lion is not a fool. The lion is wise. The lion applies the knowledge. So you, if you look at this situation over here, understand this carefully. King Solomon, everybody thought King Solomon was crazy. King Solomon was not crazy. He was the wisest man on earth. He said, just sacrifice the son immediately. Immediately. Everybody say immediately. That's when we know. Immediately, the real woman, because of the compassion. What is compassion? Love. When do you have love? When there is more sacrifice. Hallelujah. The more you love, the more you sacrifice. The more you love, the more you give. The more you love, you don't care. I don't care. I don't care if the son belongs to me or to her. All I want to care is that my son should be alive. My son should be alive. Can you relate this story with the story of Jesus Christ? All that the son cared was for you to be alive. He didn't care if he gave up his life. He didn't care if he was losing everything. All that the son cared was let that son live. Let that child live. Let that child live. Because the child is more valuable to me. That's exactly what our father thought about you. I'm giving up my son 
because I care for you. Now, the more you love, the more you give. The more you give, the more sacrifice you make. The more sacrifice you make, the more valuable it becomes. Hallelujah. The more valuable it becomes. The more valuable it becomes. That is the reason why you are more valuable. You are va more valuable than what you can even think or imagine. My dear brothers and sisters, the mother valued her sacrifice. That is the reason why she did not want to let go of the value. She did not want to let go of the value. She was even okay for the value to live with another person rather than dying. Many of us, we think, ah, oh, I don't care. No. Never have that attitude. Always remember, you sacrifice towards the person that you love. You sacrifice your time. You sacrifice your money. You sacrifice everything. Why? Because value demands sacrifice. Value demands sacrifice. You know, both were in the same position. Both the mothers were in the same position. But one had a better gifting. She had a better gifting. She thought, let me give away my, my child. Let me give away my gift. You know, again, I want to take another angle in the same story. I want to talk about King Solomon. People always think of the pre predecessor. They always think of the person who was before this person. Whenever they used to think of Solomon, they used to think of David. King David, his father. You know why? Because Solomon was not at all like his father. David was a mighty valier. David was a hunter. David was, a, was the one who, who led armies with his strength, with his charisma, with his songs. He could encourage people with his songs. He could lead armies with his songs. He could rage a battle and win it with his might. But Solomon was not like that. Solomon never waged a battle with his might. Rather, Solomon waged a battle with his wisdom. A totally different character, a totally different personality. Now, some of you might be thinking, Pastor, my dad wants me to be like this. My dad, my father wants me to be like my brother. I'm telling you, no, you're not created like your brother. You're not created like your sister. You're not created like anybody else. The point is, they do not understand the value that you have. The value that you have is a totally different value. Why? Because you are made in a different way. You are made in a unique way. And you better understand how you are made so you can achieve your purpose in your life. Hallelujah. You can achieve your destiny in your life. Your brother or your sister's destiny is not your, your destiny. You better understand they are unable to identify the value that is inside you. That is the reason why you should never devalue yourself. Why? Because if you devalue yourself, you're devaluing the sacrifice that was done on the cross of Calvary. My dear brothers and sisters, your wisdom is shown in your order. Your wisdom is shown in your order. What is my order? Order means priority. Everybody say priority. Order means priority. And your wisdom can be shown in your priority. You know, the king, he did not get fed up of the argument. He, he, did, not, he did not think bad of the argument, but rather he came up with a plan looking at the situation. So that means there was, there was an order in his judgment. Some of us, 
there is no priority in our lives that is the reason why everything is messed up you do not know what should be done first what should be done second what should be done third what is the most important thing in the fourth place so what you do you change your priorities you mess up your priorities and when you mess up your priorities you mess up your life so if there is a disorder in your mind there will be a disorder physically if there is a disorder in your life mentally there will be a disorder in your life physically some of us don't value your we are health that is the reason why we never take any precautionary measures in order to protect our health some of us we do not value our relationships that is the reason why we do not take any precautionary measures in order to protect our relationships some of us we do not value those things my dear brothers and sisters i'm asking you to open your eyes today and start valuing what is important to you hallelujah start prioritizing what is important to you in your life start thinking what is the priority what is the order that i should follow in my life you know when a lion it sets for his lair it doesn't make a sound it is silent you know why it is silent because he knows that that is his order he doesn't mess up his order just because he can growl if he growls he he will never get his prey so there is an order in order for you to achieve your desired value there is a certain order there is a priority for you to go there is a certain design in order for you to go in order for you to achieve what you really want my dear brothers and sisters are you following an order in your life are you setting priorities in your life pastor it has been a long time since i saw the morning sun then i recommend you to wake up by 6 o'clock just go in that sun which is going to you know that that, that early morning that glow, gold is what they call the golden time the golden hour that is there from 6:30 just absorb that sun rays in the sun and you're going to understand the kind of feeling that is there in that sun god has set priorities you know only in the mornings or only in the evenings you get that special feeling in that sun somehow god has created that magic in that saffron color hallelujah that saffron color there is some magic in it that orange golden red gold orange sub that mix over there you better understand there is a priority the reason why the there is the the, the sun doesn't blast out early in the morning just like how it blasts out in the middle of the uh, day you know it doesn't because there is an order for the sun there is an order for the sun hallelujah are you understanding church i'm trying to relate the nature wisdom order priority everything over here right over here there is something for you to understand which i cannot explain there is an intrinsic value there is an intrinsic value now love gives love sacrifices love gives and love sacrifices Remember every gift has a weakness. Every gift has a weakness, definitely it does. Because of wisdom, because of Solomon he he was using wisdom. He didn't wage a war like David. Because that had a weakness, you know, we don't need really need to wage a war. Because of because of the gift of David, he could write so- songs. You know, he could worship like a like no other because of that gift david had another, another weakness every gift has a weakness you better respect that respect the weakness of the gift and make sure that you don't go near that hallelujah just because you're born with a gift that doesn't mean that you do not have a weakness you know every person has a weakness Every boy has a weakness every girl has a weakness every person on this planet earth has a weakness but you need to understand that because of your gifting there is also weakness attached to it that is what makes it unique 
when you overcome that weakness that's the reason why god says i am your strength in your weakness hallelujah that's the reason why god says i am your strength in your weakness my dear brothers and sisters because it is that value which makes you overcome your weakness which makes you overcome your weakness what you value decides the decision that you make your priorities decide the kind of decisions that you make what is that you are valuing today what is the kind of love that you really seeking today you know when you really love you really sacrifice when you really love you really sacrifice so do not do not believe people who do not sacrifice i gave a pause over there so it can be digested into your mind do not believe people who do not if there is no sacrifice that means they don't really love you they don't really love you now i want to show you the final verse and close it romans chapter 12 verse 1 therefore i urge you brothers in view of god's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to god this is your spiritual act of worship that means this is your true worship many of us think raising a hand singing hallelujah shouting is worship no when worship is there sacrifice is there when worship is there sacrifice is there so what is the true worship offer your bodies as living living sacrifice living sacrifices living sacrifices it's not one sacrifice it is not two sacrifices every day every day every day you're going to be tempted everybody every day you you got to say no not today Every day you're going to be tempted every every day you got to say no not today hallelujah not today not today not on february 25th not on february 26th not on february 27th not today hallelujah you got to make your body as a living sacrifice your body as a living sacrifice you can't have success without sacrifice you can't love without sacrifice you are attracted to the success but you are repelled because of the sacrifice you are attracted to success everybody likes success but most of us we are repelling towards the sacrifice that is the reason why we are not able to succeed in our lives let's all stand up our feet and close this service with a word of prayer remember you are a christian because somebody has sacrificed for you you got to understand that you are a christian because somebody has sacrificed for you now the seat the chair that you sat on the chair you sat on because somebody has sacrificed for that chair to be there it did not just pop up just like that no there is a sacrifice because we have raised some money towards the church towards the things to be in order because of the sacrifice that somebody paid you are able to sit you are able to stand you are able to worship because of a sacrifice done by somebody there is ac in this hall remember church always honor people who sacrifice hallelujah always honor people who sacrifice always respect people who sacrifice always just just love them there's a great sacrifice that has been done because of you there is a great sacrifice i want you to understand that when there is love there will be sacrifice when there is sacrifice you will be a successful person when there is sacrifice you will be a successful person because value and sacrifice determines love love and when love is there you will be 
a successful person. Almighty Father, we thank you for this word that you have given to us today. We thank you for making us understand about the priorities, about how success can be achieved. We thank you for making us understand that you have set your life so we can be a successful person of father because you have decided a value oh lord we thank you for your grace your mercy we thank you for showering us with your love of father today oh lord everything that we are everything that we can do we know that we can do it is because of you and your love towards us we thank you for making us understand that because of the love that we that you have towards us we are able to love you back oh father Oh my dear God we thank you for this great worship that you have given to us today. We thank you for making us understand your word today. We thank you Father for making us a sacrificial bodies unto you so we can be true worshipper towards you Father. Lord thank you for making us sacrifice our time. Thank you for we are more than happy to sacrifice our time for for you oh Father. We are more than happy to sacrifice our mind our words towards you father because without you we do not have anything without you we do not have anything oh lord we thank you father for everything that you have done towards us oh lord we honor all the people who sacrifice for the loved ones who sacrifice towards the families who sacrifice towards achieving success in their lives of oh father we thank you lord we glorify your name in jesus mighty name we ask and pray amen